Hi, welcome back to our Spreadable Parent Q&A. This week we have a question from a parent about how to talk to our kids about lying. So first of all, all kids lie. Don't feel like your kiddo is the only one. We get the small lies, the medium lies, the big lies. But I will say, often it's because we set them up to lie. So we say, did you wash your hands? When we know they didn't. We say, did you pee on the floor? When we know they did. We say, did you put your bike away? When we know they didn't because we see it out there. So step one is just eliminating the potential for them to lie. They will say, anything to maintain our relationship with them. So they are very short term, right? They're not thinking about long term. So they'll do whatever they can in that moment to avoid any sort of a negative repercussion. And so with experience, they'll get better, of course. But in that moment, if we know that they peed on the floor, then just move right to it. Say, oh, it looks like we had an accident. Let's clean it up together, right? When, we, when you're finished using the bathroom, we always wash our hands and then you guide them back in. Say, oh, I see your bike is still out there. Where does your bike go? So just stop the setup for the lie. Sometimes lying comes in the form of tall tales. We know our older toddlers and preschoolers can be very imaginative and they will tell these very elaborate stories. We're not quite sure if it really happened or not, especially when we're not with them, if it happened at preschool or if it happened at the park with the babysitter. And so just allowing them to tell their whole story, asking curiosity questions, maybe trying to nail them down a little bit for some concrete things. So saying, oh, okay, so there were five birds that came over to you, tell me more about that continuing just to drop into curiosity and allowing them just to have that full expression so at this age the reality versus the imagination is still real blurry they can cross those lines back and forth very easily which is pretty cool that they can still do that at this age so just allowing them indulging them dropping into curiosity questions and just approaching it more as a big story and even thinking about it as a really awesome way for them to build their communication tools and their vocabulary so just allow them to tell this story let them play it out we get concerned about lying because we worry about the longer consequences of building trust and honesty. And so instead of using those moments where we're, we think that they're lying or they're in these tall tales, instead we wanna use really concrete examples of when they are trustworthy, when they do tell the truth and when they're honest, so they can link that exact moment to their positive feeling and to have a real concrete example of it. So to say, thank you so much for taking responsibility for breaking that toy. I really appreciate you letting me know about that. Let's go fix it together. Or thank you so much for returning my stapler when you said you were. I really appreciate your honesty and your responsibility. Now I can trust that the next time you borrow something, you're gonna return it. Thanks a lot. So really milking those positive experiences with trust, with honesty, with relationship, and with that type of communication. So thank you so much for sending us your question. Remember, all kids lie. You're not alone. You're not raising some future con man. Just focus on the positive times to build that trust and that honesty. And in the meantime, think about the ways that you are setting them up to be honest themselves. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Real moments are learning moments.